here we are, under the gates of the Moria. Do you know Lord of the Rings? Here we are. So, let's try to connect with Unity Project. And what's going on? As you remember, if you watched Lord of the Rings, you have to pass the password to go through the Moria gates. But what is the password? Is it mellow? It's just password. Because we created it that way. So let's check if it works. Yes, correct. The gate is opening. So here we are. Hello, in today's video, we want to show you how to connect Unity project with web free aspects, for example, smart contracts. So uh, we took uh, a deeper insight on a repository named YouTube Tutorials for Morales web free. And uh, if you would like, you can get this repository and launch it by yourself. But we want to show you how to do it step by step. This is our main source that we'll be using for today's video. Okay, so let's clone the repository. So now, when we have uh, on our computer repository, we have to launch the Unity Hub and we have to find our project. Unity Smart Contracts. And here we are. Uh, so, uh, Unity may ask you about the changing of the version uh, because not every single version works fine with this project. Uh, so, just update the version if it asks you about it. That's a very important thing. The next step is to uh, get the Morales setup. We don't have the WRL or WID yet, but the next step is to create that. So let's visit Morales website. Okay, so let's create Morales decentralized app environment. It will be the testnet. I believe we will use RinkyB. Let's proceed and let's choose the region. Let it be New York and single dub pink. Okay. Now let's go for the settings because we know we want to know the URL application ID because those are the things that we want to pass to the Unity Hub uh, application. And the application name. And we are connected mm, with the uh, version that we need. Next thing would be to show you how to change uh, settings for the Morales inside the repository. So to do that, we have to access the Morales Web3 SDK and we can change data inside of it. As you can see, on the right side, you can change the URL, ID, name, descriptions, version, and so on. So you have a lot of different tools here for the Morales especially. Well, uh, for now, we have nothing on the main screen, but we want to show you the preset asset, which was created uh, to start even with. So let's access the project, scenes, and the main. And so let's try to launch it. Okay, all right. So we have the web free Moria Gates for the Unity and Smart Contracts connection. Our Unity project and base Morales configuration is ready. So now it's time to plug in the smart contract. For that, we we'll use Visual Studio Code. So if you want to use it, you need to go to Edit, Preferences, External Tools, and make sure that our external script editor is the one you want to work with. So Visual Studio Code, Visual Studio, whatever you want. We stay with Visual Studio Code, so we can close it. And now we are looking for a game manager file, which is here, and we can double click it to open it with the external editor. And here we are in our game manager, where as you can see, we have smart contract address and ABI. 
we need those two so we have to create a new smart contract and for that uh, you could either use the integrated hardhat here but i think that it's a bit more complicated and you need a separate hardhat tutorial for that so instead we took the smart contract from here and we copied it with a few small changes to remix small changes include passing the password in string, not in bytes32, so that we can easily set the password when we deploy the smart contract. So it's the only change here. Everything else st stayed the same. And having the smart contract, uh, we can uh, compile it and deploy it to our provided network, which is RinkyB. And let's set the password just to password. Now it's deployed, so we can expand it. And as you can see, we only have one public function, which is open gates. And uh, it just takes password and uh, compares it to the one we set while creating the smart contract. And it emits to events, correct password, true or false. And we have uh, one function which helps us in uh, comparing the passwords, which uh, converts string to bytes32. So now we can copy the address of the smart contract and paste it in our game manager right here. And we also need ABI. So go back to the compiler section and copy ABI here. As you can see, when we paste the ABI, it won't compile because it needs to be escaped and inlined here. And to do that, we'll use a tool, uh, which is uh, this one. Uh, we used a random uh, JSON escape tool. So we paste the ABI here and click escape JSON. And when you copy this result, you'll see that it's inlined and it's escaped, so it will it will uh, compile properly. And that's it here. We'll use Moralis to connect to the smart contract, but we actually need to add one thing to our Moralis settings, because as you probably remember, we have uh, uh, where we emit those events with either correct passwords or or incorrect passwords, but. Uh, to be able to receive them in our application, we have to go to Moralis and uh, go to our syncs and add a new sync. This is a custom event. We have to paste the uh, address again. And we also need to paste the ABI. So ABI here, not escaped, the original one from Remix and the address of the smart contract. Select the network, RinkyB. Select the topic. And important thing here, we need a specific table name. And uh, the table name here is Moria Gates Event. Description, here anything you want. And we can create the sync. So now having the sync, the application will be able to receive the events. If you skip this step, the application won't be able to receive the event and it will be stuck at waiting for the smart contract response. Now our whole application should be ready, so we can go back to Unity. It needs to reload the scripts because we edited them in VSC. And now we can go to the uh, build section. So we go to uh, file, build settings and we need to be sure that we select WebGL, otherwise we won't be able to connect to the, to the smart contract. We change the platform. You might not have the WebGL platform installed in your uh, Unity editor. So if that's the case, you need to install it. You should have a button somewhere right there. And so uh, now we are ready to build and run. And uh, we need to 
specify create a new folder for the build output so I call it build and now we need to wait for a few hours so that's it now you're able to connect smart contracts to your web application we we'll also provide a link in the description to the original uh, official moralist guide with uh, very similar steps uh, we just wanted to create a, a video version because we know that it might be hard if somebody is not if you are not experienced with uh, unity we will also have other tutorials regarding smart contracts and unity so make sure to subscribe and see our other videos thanks and see you next time